How you guys doing? This is a Mr. Fire. Today we have an awesome, awesome uh, pocket piece of magic. Uh, this is one of the best effects that I know, um, and I know pretty much a lot of, you know, effects that fit in your pocket. There's lipstick tricks, there's coin tricks, uh, there's a great lipstick trick actually, I might show you that, where um, you have a spectator's hand, and then your hand is above, and you put a piece of lipstick, or just a smear of it, and you rub it into your skin, and without touching them, it actually goes right into your skin all the way through, and then without touching their hand, it's actually on the bottom of their skin. Very classic effect, but today I'm going to show you uh, one of my favorite pieces of magic, um, involving a coin, and involving a marker, or a pen, pretty much whatever you uh, would like to use, you could use, uh, you know, you could use a real pen, you know, but I like to use a marker because a marker is something that I incorporate into my magic, you know, with having them sign a card. So think of this. I'm going to strike this. It's going to disappear into the marker. I'm going to uncap it, and then the coin's going to visually come out of the cap. I'm going to toss it out, and it's going to come right out, and then I'm going to teach it to you. So I don't have to talk. Here we go with the coin and marker illusion. So I have a coin here. I have a marker that's going to actually happen on the count of three. That's one. That's two. That's three. So it actually appears. That it goes right into this. Now, you know, I could actually make this disappear as well, but I bring that right back. And uh, the amazing part is actually, you could see it right in there. One, two, three, it actually comes right out, shooting out, and it doesn't even fit right in there. But, um, you know, I don't know if you guys know me, but I never like to waste anything. So I'll just make that, you know, you know, just like that, and we'll call it a day. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then, um, you know, when you finish, you could do whatever you want with it. You could say, okay, uh, you know, I need you to hold this. And then, you know, you make that coin come right back, whatever you want to do. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to teach you guys the explanation of this effect. It's a beautiful piece of walk-around magic. Alright, so, uh, there's going to be a couple of uh, things that you're going to, that you're going to, that you're going to uh, need for this effect. You're going to need a, uh, a good coin. And make sure you hold on to the coin. You're gonna need a good, nice, big coin. Uh, this is actually a an Indian coin, not Indian like, but like those uh, Indians, like the Indian people, like Native American people, those sort of people. This is an Indian coin um, that I got from one of my friends a long time ago. And uh, this is just a Sharpie marker. But coins that work preferably good are 50 cent pieces. This is approximately. Um, anywhere between a 50 cent piece and a quarter it, it is not you know a lot bigger than a quarter but maybe a, a centimeter or two shorter than a 50 cent piece or I'm actually maybe uh, yeah about that you know it's not the exact size of a uh, 50 cent piece but the reason why you want it to be too um, you know not too small is because when you throw it you want it to look good and you want to make it easy to catch and the thing is you don't want it to be too big that when you catch it the hand that catches it doesn't look like you have um you know arthritis in your hands you don't want to be holding the coin like this you know and you you know so you want it to look good so i found a 50 cent piece coin works good for me you could find a coin that works good for you you know maybe the smaller the coin is it's easier or the bigger the coin is it's easier but for me preferably i like the 50 cent coin piece um you know that's a good coin for me, and this coin, like I am telling you the size of it, uh, works good for me. Like I said, I like to use a Sharpie marker, and you can make some jokes about this, uh, because it's Sharpie. You could actually say, I don't know if you notice, but they actually name this after a French dog, Sharpay. And then, you know, when you give it to them, you could be like, be careful though, it's Sharpie. And, you know, because it's sharp, you know, so they get a laugh or two out of that. And, I um, mean, you know, just so they'll warm up to you. And then um, they'll accept your magic and they won't question it. Because either it's one of those effects that either you do it or you mess up and then that's it. So uh, I'm here to tell you not to mess up. Because if you do, then the trick will look like shit. And then if it doesn't, it will look amazing. I mean, on Friday, I had school. It was the last day of school. And um, I had a free for my global. And I just did this trick for like a group of kids. Like, I was like over here. And then all the kids work over here, you know, because I hate talking to kids, you know, my age and stuff. And then um, I was hanging out with this one kid, and then they all just grouped around me. And they were like, oh, you do magic? Cool. So I just, hey, does anyone have a coin? Anyone have a uh, marker? And I just did the trick, and it looked, it looked uh, beautiful. You know, I did my vanish. It shot out of the, the cap and everything. But that's enough of the stories, you know. I always say a story on my videos. But that's enough of the stories. That's it. But uh, as you can tell, it really... really you know, holds small, you know, you can actually just cap this, 
um, onto here. I actually did this on purpose, just like it was made for this. Fits into the pocket, and you're good to go. So now I'm going to show you um the simple things. I'm going to take it step by step. So step one is doing the vanish, the first vanish. <clears throat> Excuse me, the, yeah, the first vanish. It looks like this. And that uh, looks pretty damn good. So this is called the strike vanish. People do this with coins with their hand. I mean, you could you could easily do this with your hand and say, bam. You know, but it doesn't look as good as if you could do it with a... But an object in your hand. Oh, shit, Jesus Christ. Whew, that got terrible. But, um, you know, it's it's something you have to practice. So now I'm going to go into explanation on it and how everything works. Alright, so what's happening is as this is in this hand, you're going to count one, you're going to count two, and on the count of three, you just toss the coin up oh, and you catch it with this hand. So like this. A little faster. And then on the count of three, you're going to do that move, but this is still going to come down and follow through as if nothing happened. So you're going to be practiced. So I need you to practice two things. Counting one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The exact same motion. And then on the count of three, incorporate the catch. One, two, three. You know, so one, two, three. Do it again. One, two, three. Last time. One, two, three. So it looks good because when you catch it on third time, so one, two, when you count the three, you don't want to be pausing. You don't want to be making sure it's in the right fingers. You you caught it right. It's awkward. You just want to catch it and then follow through. You don't even want to stop. So this is a bad way of doing it. One, two, three. You don't want to, you know, take even one stroke breath out of anything. You want it to be fluid and solid. So this is how you should do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. It vanished. You say, where is it? If you know how to do my flip stick move, I appreciate if you do that because then it does incorporate the trick uh, quite nicely. So, you know, so something like this. So you make the coin disappear. Bam. You make the, the, that disappear as well. I said, no, I'm just joking. I'll bring that back. And then, or if you don't know how to do it, go to my video. But if you don't want to learn it, okay. So now you've made the coin disappear and or you made this disappear. I uncapped the marker. And then I say, here, check that out, make sure that's good. But before you do that, check this out. And then I throw it out. All I'm doing is, because it's in here, I'm just going to open my hands up and toss both out like this. And then it really looks like this just comes right out of the marker. So, bam, and it shoots right out. So now, one more time, with the whole nine yards incorporated into the effect, it should look a little something like this. Here I have a coin. I have a marker here. I don't like, you know, to waste anything. So I'm going to show you something that actually makes everything in its own habitat. Sometimes I like to store the coin actually inside the marker on the count of three. I'll show you what I mean. There's one, there's two, and then there's three. It actually goes inside the cap, not on this side, but on this side. Maybe you don't believe me, so I'll just get rid of that trick. Bam, you know, so it's over here, so, you know, you could just get rid of that. But it's okay, I like to bring it back. But like I said, it is inside this cap over here. You could check that out. But bam, it just comes right shooting out. Just like that right out of here. I don't even know how it fits. It doesn't even fit from the bottom. And if it falls, it's even better. So, it, you know, it's more realistic. And then if they think anything's suspicious, you just trap it, trap it. And that is it. Packs really small. Plays really big. So, thank you guys for watching. This is a mystifier. You've just been mystified with my awesome rendition of one of my favorite coin tricks that uses a, uh, just... A, uh, a shopping market so one of the best tricks that I like to do out there so uh, stay tuned for my next videos where I teach you guys how to make a gorilla disappear with a monkey yeah whatever this is mystifying you've just mystified with the coin and shoppy disappearing and reappearing effect have a nice day